Welcome to the start of a new year of seventh grade American history. The start of a new year in social studies always begins with a study of geography. Geography is broadly defined as the study of people, their environments, and their resources. By studying geography, it helps us to understand how the natural environments affect people and events. Many of the ways that people interact with the environment is constantly changing and is difficult to predict. In January of 2020, it was difficult to imagine that we'd be starting this school year remotely due to a pandemic that started halfway around the world. But the study of geography provides an explanation and perhaps some solutions too. As President Obama stated, the study of geography is more than just memorizing places on a map. It's about understanding the complexity of our world, appreciating the diversity of cultures that exist across continents, and in its end, it's about using all that knowledge to help bridge divides and bring people together. To help us understand the connections, geographers have developed five themes, location, place, interaction, movement, and region. Every place on the planet has its own unique feature that makes it special, while part of and connected to the bigger ecosystem of the planet. George Fisher Middle School is located in Carmel, New York, as part of Putnam County. In this video, I'll go over each of the five themes of geography as it pertains to our present location of place and time at GFMS in Putnam County, New York. Number one, location. I often get lost, so the first theme of geography is critical to me. Location tries to answer the basic question of, where am I? There are two types of location to help us find the answer to the question of where, exact location and relative location. Exact location. To describe the exact location of a place, geographers use a grid of numbered lines on a map or globe called latitude and longitude. Putnam County, New York has a latitude of 41.4 degrees north of the equator and 73.79 degrees west of the prime meridian. These exact coordinates will get you to Putnam County, New York. Relative location is the location of a place in relation to some other place. Sometimes this is more useful to know relative location. It can explain why people settle in certain areas or why battles took place at a certain time and place. In Putnam County, we often say that we are about 55 miles north of New York City because most of the people have been to or heard of New York City. Number two, place. Geographers use the theme of place to describe an area's physical and human features. Physical features include climate, soil, animals, and bodies of water. The human features include the kinds of houses people build, ways of earning a living, languages, and type of religion. For example, Carmel, New York is described as a suburban town of New York City with a population of 34,227, with lots of greenery and natural beauty. It has a good variety of restaurants and farm fresh foods, but lacks a nightlife. Number three, interaction. Interaction between people and their environments is a third theme of geography. Throughout history, people have adapted to and changed their natural surroundings. In Putnam County, an example of interaction is the creation of seven man-made reservoirs to provide drinking water for New York City. It provides almost 10% of New York City drinking water. Number four, movement. A fourth theme of geography involves the movement of people, goods, and ideas. History provides many examples from early hunters in America following herds of large animals to the westward migration of settlers in search of gold in 1849. Movement is usually through trains, roads, and airplanes. Putnam County was dramatically transformed with the construction of the Taconic Parkway, Route 84, as well as the Hudson and Harlem train lines. Recently, the internet and wireless communications has transformed education with the movement of ideas through remote learning. Number five, regions. A region has certain unifying characteristics. It may be defined 
by its physical characteristics, such as climate and landforms. It could also be defined by human and cultural characteristics, such as the city of New Orleans is associated with jazz music. Here in Putnam County, we're part of the Hudson River Valley that connects towns and counties in the surrounding area of the Hudson River with similar climate, language, and physical surroundings. Putnam Geography Facts. It was founded in 1812 and is named after American Revolutionary War General Israel Putnam. The area of Putnam County is 246 square miles with the western border being the Hudson River and the eastern border being the state of Connecticut. It has a population of 99,710 people. The climate is humid continental with an average of 50 inches of rain per year and 28 inches of snow per year. The physical region is that it's part of the Appalachian Mountain region. The terrain is hilly and it's part of the Hudson Highlands. The highest elevation is 1,540 feet at Schofield Ridge. The lowest elevation is sea level at the Hudson River. The average commute time for working residents is 37 minutes, with 9% of the working residents having over 90 minute commute to New York City. The time zone is the Eastern time zone. Here are 10 Putnam County geography facts that makes this unique while also connecting us to other parts of the world. Number one, the Hudson Highlands were formed over a billion years ago from the edge of an ancient sea. Great sheets of ice wore them down to the rounded hills that we see today with countless glacial erratics left over from the last ice age 18,000 years ago. Native Americans have lived in this area for more than 10,000 years, with the last native inhabitants being the Wappinger tribe before the arrival of the Europeans. Putnam County is home to the largest indoor Buddha statue in the Western Hemisphere at the Chung Yang Monastery in Kent, New York. You can hike all of Putnam County from north to south on the Appalachian Trail from Dutchess County to Westchester County. The Tilly Foster Farm in Southeast New York provides culinary arts education, farm to table dining, as well as an active farm with animals and horses. The Great Swamp in Patterson provides natural filtration for the reservoirs, as well as a destination for kayakers. Its edges attract hikers and rock climbers. It's considered one of the most scenic wild places in Putnam County. The Putnam County Courthouse in Carmel, New York was built in 1814 and is the second oldest courthouse still in use in New York State. Thunder Ridge Ski Area in Patterson, New York has 30 trails with three lifts to provide winter recreation activities. The Stone Chambers there's over 200 of these man-made structures are located in Putnam County and have provided endless speculation about their origins. And number 10, Putnam County's most famous resident is Sybil Ludington, who alerted the local militia about the British burning of Danbury and has a statue to honor her in Carmel, New York. In conclusion, Putnam County's motto is where the country begins. Because of its unique geography, this county continues to work to find the right balance between productivity, development, and preservation. Putnam County continues to attract people seeking small town charm and beautiful vistas. Throughout time, the county's geography has always been changing, but is accelerating due to man-made climate change. Now it is up to us to protect our natural surroundings. So as we start the school year, Make sure that we stop and look around, whether it's from our classroom seat, bus seat, or in the chair at home. Think about the lives that have come before us and interacted with this land. Make sure you take the time to break, take a break from your computer screen and get out and enjoy the unique geography of Putnam County, New York. Thank you.